Central Park is our landmark site. Uh, it's really putting our name out there. Um, we've got some other sites around, but this one is the one everyone notices. Fraser's uh, bought the site in 2007. This project here, Central Park, is one of the biggest in Sydney. It's uh, a major project, $2 billion sales, and that's the type of projects that we like to do. We've got around 2,500 apartments going in at its final stage. Uh, it's right in the heart of Sydney. It's uh, across the road from UTS, and it's got some landmark features in it, such as one Central Park. One of the site restrictions was that there was a shortfall of power supply and we decided that we'd make up that shortfall by generating our own. The CTP and Trigen facility has four major functions for the Central Park precinct. It provides hot water for spatial heating, cold water for spatial cooling, domestic hot water and also generates electricity. The central thermal plant delivers the heating and cooling water to each building through a network of underground pipes. There is a cold water ring main which provides water to the buildings at around 6 degrees and returns between 10 and 13 degrees. There is also a hot water ring main which provides 82 degree water to the buildings and returns between 65 and 75 degrees. The gas engine is capable of generating electricity for use in the plant room or use by the nearby buildings through a private electrical network. To produce this hot water, cold water and electricity, the CTP has three major elements. Boilers, chillers, and a tri-generation system. The natural gas-fired hot water boilers are used to create hot water, which is pumped through the hot water pipes. The electric chillers are used to create cold water, which is pumped through the cold water pipes. The last element to complement the boilers and chillers is the tri-generation system. Tri, meaning hot, cold, and electricity, is produced from the one energy source, in this case, natural gas. The natural gas-fired reciprocating engine primarily produces electricity. As a byproduct of generating electricity, we're left with large amounts of excess heat. This heat is recovered from the radiator water, which is then boosted from the heat produced by the engine exhaust. This recovered heat is then transferred into our pipe network and sent to the buildings for their use. Finally, a portion of the recovered hot water from the engine is diverted into an absorption chiller, which converts hot water through a chemical process into cold water. This cold water is then integrated into the cold water pipe network and sent to buildings for their use. When I came on board, the master planning was underway. The site had a requirement to have a central thermal plant and trigen facility. Uh, so my role was to take it from there and get it built. WSP have been heavily involved in this site from almost the beginning. They're the main services consultant that's been involved in basically all of the major infrastructure here. They were one of the driving factors helping us choose to go with trigen and central thermal plant and finding that solution for us. We were invited by Fraser's to discuss the sustainable infrastructure component of their project. We started off by talking about combining buildings on the one central system, discussed the process of, um, of the green precinct with the GPCA, um, and our engagement really flowed from there. The studies that we did early on indicated that if we were serving a dozen or so buildings, we would require you know, up to 36 odd chillers. Um, and we've been able to reduce that to the number of eight. In terms of the cooling towers, we've gone from about 24 down to half that number of 12, um, and boilers, we've gone from 24 of boilers down to five. Really to explore the next avenues of green, you need the diverse profiles and you need to be serving more than one building. So the, we were quite excited um, by working on the Fraser site because it gave us the opportunity to really start pushing some of those boundaries. There's a lot of discussion about the final location of the central thermal plant. Um, Ideally it had to be central to all the buildings on this site, um, so we ended up picking the brewery yard they call it, which is actually two or three levels of basement underground. Usually if you're standing on um, a building in town you're looking down over the roofs, there's a lot of engineering clutter on the top of the buildings. So what the CTP allows you to do is to, is to actually pick that up and put it in a more desirable location. It literally is a building underground and trying to reticulate and actually plan that um, through and how it would reticulate around the site was certainly challenging. WSP got the concept design pretty well done, so somewhere between 80 and 90%. Then it was handed over to Total Constructions to pick up the remaining 20% of the design, take it right down to a floor construction stage and get the thing built and get it running. When we were off to procure the project with Fraser's, Total came to the table. They presented the history of, of their involvement in such schemes and their desire to deliver the project. They produced a very technically competent team. 
Typically, the point at which we enter the project is uh, after a concept or preliminary design from the client's engineer, in this case, WSP. So our role was then to essentially take that concept through the detailed design and construction and commissioning of the remainder of that project. We obviously had very close collaboration initially with both Fraser's and WSP in the understanding, I guess, and, and transfer of information of the design or the concept so that we could proceed with the detailed design. We had four people working on that, each working on various elements of the, of the model, taking that concept and working out uh, the immaculate level of detail of where things should go and, and how they'll fit um, into the space that we had available. So the piping, uh, cable trays, ductwork, etc., uh, all needed to be carefully uh, laid out and coordinated uh, to ensure that it would fit within the space provided. To do that, we employed 3D drafting or modelling and that was certainly a necessity for the complexity involved with this type of project. By putting the CTP in a basement, uh, it made accessing construction quite difficult. Um, we had to think through how we were going to get that built. There was a, an access hatch within the basement of about six metres by three metres, which allowed us to move materials down to those levels. The actual construction itself, uh, really the majority took part within about a six month time frame. The real innovations are reusing the chimney. We were encouraged to reuse Heritage where we could and we saw an opportunity to reuse that chimney for something, to put it back in purpose. This was quite an interesting element to the project and took uh, quite a lot of design and engineering time up front to consider the various options. We placed a stainless steel chimney actually down the inside of the entire length of the existing chimney. If you can imagine 55 metres of chimney above ground, the length of this piece being almost equivalent to that and the fact that we actually had to lift that above uh, the entire length. So we're almost about 110 metres off the ground, dangling 16 tonnes of stainless steel in the centre of Sydney and then trying to skewer that through a uh, heritage listed uh, brick chimney. So as you can imagine it was quite a nerve wracking day but fortunately we were very lucky with the weather and everything ran uh, quite smoothly. The feasibility um, of the site was to, was to retail the chilled water and the hot water and that's what's unique about this site is the retailing of the, of the hot and cold water across the different structures. So we've been able to reduce the amount of equipment overall and the capital expenditure for the precinct. A lot of people support the fact that the carbon reduction of this plant is massive in terms of the amount of um, greenhouse gas that we save on an annual basis. I think we'll see the other precincts that are currently being developed in Sydney such as Barangaroo and the Exhibition and Entertainment Centre uh, will we'll probably follow suit in Fraser's footsteps. The teamwork that was uh, established on this project is, is, is second to none. You've got to work together, overcome the challenges and just stay focused on that end goal. Just having some sort of input has been fantastic. Um, and I, you know, I get to look at, back at this now for the rest of my life and say so I was involved in Central Park and its Central Thermal Plant.